Summer's over, winter's here, it's a day after Christmas, and you can see we're getting a little snow out there. We're expecting a heavy lake effect storm later today. Uh, not a lot to do outside in the winter here in the farm, but one thing that has to be done twice a day is cows need to be milked. We have two Jersey cows. I just want to show you how we do it. We have a surge bucket milker. This actually hangs from the cow with a strap. And to get this set up, I have all my equipment on this drying rack that I made myself out of high tensile wire so everything can air dry. So we start out with our gasket. You see it has a little bit of a flange on it. You put that flange down to the metal. That just lays on there. We have our pulsator and our stainless cups that go on next. That twists on there and locks on. These are silicone inflations. Uh, I don't use the black ones. I use the see-through so I can tell how the milk's flowing. So those go in. Just clip in there like that. Put all four of these in. After these are in, Put these red plugs in. Just to keep everything clean. That's ready to go. And before we milk, we're going to wash the cows. We just have a stainless bucket with a cloth. We'll fill that with hot soapy water. And we just bought a little calf, so we need to feed that and use this bucket milker. This is uh, the one they have in stock at Tractor Supply. I don't recommend it. I'm going to get a better one. It's ordered. These let too much milk out. The calves drink too fast. This washer in here likes to fall off because it's not made very well. But it works. I have it on hand. So let's take this out to the milking stall and get it set up. So here's where we milk the cows. This is our vacuum pipe. Goes back to the vacuum pump in the back room there. This flexible hole is hooked right on your pulsator. We have a couple of pails to sit on and bring our water out. When they come in, they eat the second cutting hay. That's the premium hay, the good stuff. I put a little bit of apple cider vinegar on there that I made. The cows are kept out here for the winter. They've been off pasture for about a month now. And they stay out here in this winter pen. No, not time to come in yet. You gotta wait. All right, come on out. This is Bella and her daughter Bailey. They're the two milk cows. They stay out here all winter. We're fortunate to have this creek that flows most of the time. So they get water there. We feed them here. And all this wasted hay makes great mulch for the trees. This is their lean hill. This little calf we just bought, her name's Pumpkin. And she likes her fresh milk. Little baby, little good girl. Huh? Little good baby calf, huh? She's about three weeks old, four weeks. Nice little Jersey calf. We'll be milking her probably in two years. So this is where they spend the winter. I don't like my cows in the barn. I like them out in the fresh air. So they go out and they can walk around, have, they can have exercise. Most of the time they won't sleep in here, they'll sleep out on that hay. It just makes life much more comfortable for the cows. And we'll bring these cows in about, about 8 o'clock tonight.
Well, it's close to 8 o'clock, about 7.30. We're going to bring the cows in, milk them out. In the wintertime, we milk at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. And a couple of reasons I do that. At 8 a.m., the cows are up, they're active, they're ready to be milked. We don't have to get them up. And in the evening, it's nice to come out and have something to do. Gets us out of the house, a little, little exercise. So, we're going to bring these cows in now. We're going to get them milked out. You can see that we uh, had a little bit of snow today. Plenty of girls. That's Bella. She usually sleeps outside. And they'll go right to their stall here. Come on over. Get them in here and get them tied up. This is just a dry barn. I don't have any gutters in here, so you want the cows out for a little while so they can relieve themselves so they don't do it in here. This is the strap we use to hang the bucket. It's called the surf single. It just got a strap and a spring bar. You want to hang that spring bar just a little bit below the teeth level here. And before you milk them, you got to get the leather cleaned off a little bit. Just clean that off. These cows are pretty clean. That's all you need to do when I get some clean. That stimulates them to let their milk down. Give them a minute and they'll let it down. difficult to milk, but she gives more milk. There, they're clean. There, they like to throw their hay. They put it back in there. They like all that fine powdery stuff on the bottom. Just throw it back in for them. We'll give them a minute here to let the milk down. You can see which cow sleeps in the lean to, which one likes to sleep outside. Oh, and you want to kick that pump on. So we'll turn the pump on and get started. Now this is a surge bucket milk here. This one used to be popular probably 50, 75 years ago. They don't make them anymore. They quit making them in, I think, 99. One of the advantages of this for me, it's real easy to clean. There's other milkers that uh, have a bucket that sits over here in the claw. The claw takes a lot of water to clean off. This is really simple to clean. We get all the cups on if you come over here. You can see that milk right up over there. You can see it better. You can see the milk flow through there. This is really handy when you first learn how to milk. You can see it flow. And when you're done, it'll slow down and then stop, and then you'll get suction on that tea because it doesn't seal anymore because it's empty. And uh, in the wintertime, they only make about a gallon of milk each. We 
when you milk them. In the summer, they'll make about about three gallons each time. Valley milk's out real easy. You don't really have to do anything special with her. Bella needs a little extra help. As soon as they stop, you just pull down. If you hear that suction, that means they're done. Come over here. summer this would be full you'd have to go dump it but in the winter we can milk two cows on the pop deck come right over here to Bella them a squirt to get them started. So we'll milk out alone. You see there, you can see the milk coming out. Bella takes a little bit longer to milk. She'll have a little bit more milk in her udder than Bailey. Bella in the summertime, she'll peak out about eight gallons a day. She's a good cow. In the summer, in the winter time, they only make probably two gallons a day. I don't feed them any grain, so they don't make a lot of milk, but it's real easy. They don't get sick. I don't ever have the vet here. this water a little bit to get her finished up. It's important to keep your cows comfortable because if they're not happy they won't even let their milk down. They'll just hold it right up in there. But they're letting down real nice. They kind of shake it down here. Cows, this won't be necessary. See that shrinking up now. That'll shrink right up when it gets done.
this off. Storm. We brought a lot of snow in with the four wheeler. We got a wet floor now. So you take your uh, lid off now. You got a special bracket to hang that. And we'll take uh, take a gallon into the house. Calves do really well on the milk. She's only about maybe four weeks old. Very nice and nice and fat. We have a good layer of fur on her. She stays right out here with the big cows. We've already had below zero weather. And she's doing really well out here. If you feed them milk, they don't get the scours. They're just a lot more healthy. And she'll drink probably a gallon. So we'll uh, let her finish that up and we'll go clean up. So now that we're done milking, we just take the take the inflations off, take everything apart, same way we put it on. Just take it over to the sink, clean it with hot water, hang it up here. I only sanitize about once a week because we don't sell milk, we just use it ourselves and we don't have germophobia. And it's a lot of work sanitizing and I don't want that chemical residue in my milk anyway. So, we're all done for the night, we'll wash up, take our milk in, fresh raw Jersey milk. A lot of people can't get this. Some people you have to have a cow to get this, it's illegal in a lot of states, but we're fortunate to have this every day. So, we get all cleaned up and do it all again tomorrow.